Hi there, welcome back. This is one of our two minute tips videos and in this video we're going to look at electronic front curtain shutter on the Nikon Z series cameras. With the increasingly high resolution sensors built into modern day mirrorless cameras such as the Z series, slight vibration when you're taking an image can be increasingly a challenge, particularly when you're marrying the camera up with a perhaps a long focal length lens which accentuates that vibration. Mirrorless cameras have two shutters, they have a mechanical shutter and an electronic shutter and with the mechanical shutter it actually there are two parts to it. There is the front curtain which opens to let the light onto the sensor and the rear curtain which then comes down to shut the light off from the sensor. The risk from the front curtain is that when it moves, the mechanical shutter opens, it can cause a slight vibration which can follow through into the image. And that, that's where electronic front curtain shutter comes in. What it does is use the electronic shutter to open the shutter and allow light onto the sensor and then uses the mechanical shutter to shut off the light at the end of the exposure, thereby minimizing the amount of vibration from that mechanical shutter. So let's look at how you set this up on the Nikon Z series cameras. Electronic front curtain shutter can be set up in one of two ways on the Nikon Z series cameras. It can be assigned to one of the positions on the I menu and I'll put a card above to show you how you set up the I menus. Alternatively, you can come into the menu system and you can scroll down to custom setting menu across to D, shooting and display, and then if you scroll down, you'll find D5, electronic front curtain shutter, and there you can enable it or disable it. Whilst the benefits of electronic front curtain shutter are clear, there are some subtle downsides. Because we're using the electronic sensor, there are some limitations. For example, where you're taking an image of a fast-moving subject or perhaps you're panning the camera, there is the risk that there will be banding and artifacts in the image. And therefore, Nikon have placed a limitation on when you can use EFCS. It can only be used up to a shutter speed of one two thousandth of a second, and it can only be used up to an ISO sensitivity of 25,600 on the Z7 and 51,200 on the Z6. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let us know if you're using EFCS in the comments below. 